now we go in with the most... <laughs> Hi, it's Wing, and I wanted to go out for some lunch today, so I thought I would film a really quick everyday basic makeup tutorial for when I want to put something on my face but I want to get out the door as quickly as possible without spending like half an hour, an hour on makeup. I am no expert at makeup by any means and I've only really been putting down a set makeup routine for about a year and sometimes I've already evolved away from this routine because it's a bit too basic for me now but this is a really good basic startup and I could do this routine with my eyes closed so yeah let's get into it first because it's coronavirus season and we want to stay as germ free as possible we're gonna spray some we're gonna spray some sanitizer on my face instead of going for a mist spray, whatever. This is safe for babies, safe for pets, and you can eat this. So I am just going to go like that. Placebo effect that we're safe from dangerously contagious viruses that will attack our immune system. Yay! I know you're supposed to put moisturizer before you do your whole routine but I found that it just makes my face really gross and sticky even though my face is slightly dry on my cheek especially but yeah I just don't feel good when I put moisturizer before my routine so I usually don't do that. Sometimes I skip doing a foundation BB cream or base completely but if I'm in the mood, I'm usually using this, which is the Miss Lab Perfect, Perfect Cover BB Cushion. Ooh, I love how it's in like the typical compact packaging, so you can just slosh it in there. And go for it. I like keeping my freckles visible, so I don't go too hard all over my cheeks. I am still looking for a compact that is in a darker shade because this is made for Asian skin tones and Asian beauty which as you'll probably know love to emphasize skin whitening and my skin is clearly not as white and pale and pearly. I prefer a tan look and I love being in the sun so I usually don't go too ham on this. And okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's it for this. Usually next I'm gonna go in with my eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes. Ow, 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 ow. I bought this curler at my local Daiso, the $10 store. I found it works incredibly well, so I just haven't bothered looking for another one. I love how it doesn't have the usual scissor hoop thing that you would regular eyelash curler there. I love how you can just hold it like this and just go in there. I've gotten to a habit of putting on my falsies, which I retract my statement in my previous video that I don't like falsies because now I put them on, but for the sake of this basic routine, we're not gonna bother with falsies. Okay, let's go in with brows first because importante. Importante is this the right shade? My go-to eye pencil has been the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow. I don't actually know what shade this is, but it is like a dark brown shade. I don't like going too light on my brows even though I have blonde and really light hair at the moment. I start at the beginning of my brow and follow the arch that my brows make. Dip that down slightly. This would probably be more even if I worked on both brows at the same time, but I ain't got no time for that. And we do the other brow now. Okay, that looks decent to me. <laughs> now that you've got a basic brow shape, just go in with the other end. Go in with the brush on the other hand to soften mistakes like I did here at the start. 
start and just comb through the entire brow. Sometimes if I've got a bit more time and I want more defined brows, I will go in with this thinner brow pencil and just go over the outline of my brows to give them more definition and blend it out with this. La 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 Okay. <laughs> brows done. I think we'll go for a pinky look. So this is the Maybelline The City Mini Palette. I've had this palette for so many years but never actually got around to using it because I had no idea what to do with eyeshadow. If I'm going for no brushes, I'll just use this. I'm gonna do this. The brightest color, obviously. This pink color that's a little bit shimmery. Jab that on the outer corner of your lid and make sure you can see it with your eyes open. Pack that on there. I like going for a sort of wing on my eyeshadow as well. I'll be adding eyeliner on top of this later. Blend that out, etc, etc. And bring it a little bit down to the crease. And do the same for the other eye. The other eye is always the hardest. <laughs> so again, start on the outer corner and then blend it in. At some point, it's guaranteed that you will stab yourself in the eyeball and blend it out. So it doesn't look like one giant lump of color. Wink, 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 wink. For all intents and purposes of using only one eyeshadow color. <laughs> if the brush isn't working, just use your fingers. And I just smudged a lot of it off, but okay. Chaotic! That will do before I do anything crazy. Scratch that, I'm doing crazy. We go in with the most dangerous part of his routine, the eyeliner. This is Maybelline Hyper Sharp. I love it because it has a brush felt tip that hasn't run out on me in over half a year of me using it quite often so I do like this a lot. This is just a hit or miss all the time. <laughs> How I like to do my liner is stab myself in the middle of my eye where my lash line starts with your eye open, drag your eyeliner out, just Drag your eyeliner out like you would drag somebody. Work it, girl. Sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. Roll with it. This is really hard to talk while doing it. I'm just gonna do it. Once you've got the basic wing done, you can connect it to your lash line and extend it a little bit. Like I said, it's always a work in progress and doesn't always go well. Now that you've got that, I like to go in to my waterline and I'll drag it in where it's a little bit too. Cut and buds to the rescue. If you mess up, just act like it was intentional. For an everyday look, this meets my standards. Depending on how I feel, I will maybe extend the wing a bit more. The hard part, we do the other side. <sighs> Reference your other eye. Okay, once you've got the wing, bring it back in again. Stab your eyelashes. Let them know who's in charge. Assert your dominance. Okay, that's as good as I get on a regular day. Yay! I didn't cry while doing my eyeliner. Now I'll just let that dry for a little bit. i go in with my favorite part of my makeup routine every day always. Highlighter! I love this highlighter when I travel because it's so compact and I can whip it out whenever. Don't need brushes, don't need a whole palette, la la la. This is Too Faced Unicorn Tears and it has a sparkly unicorn on the back like we're 12. And the best part about this is it smells like birthday cake and sparkles. And it's blue and it looks like a unicorn horn and it's so fun. So just slap your highlighter on. Hit 
cheek for that. I love cream-based products over powdered products actually because my face likes to suck up all my makeup and if it's creamy, it will actually stay on my face for longer. After you've put it on there, just smudge it out. Alright, going on my nose as well. Just hit the bridge of your nose like this. I like to blend it into my under eye as well which you're technically not supposed to do with highlighter but I like how it looks usually I do that in place of using separate concealer I like to work it into the brow bone here too you can bring it down here to your cupid's bow too not too much with the excess I have on my fingers, I will just tap it all around so your face looks like a disco ball, which is my typical makeup aesthetic anyway. Yay! If I've got the time, I will use another highlighter because we love highlighters in this house. This is Revolution Liquid Highlighter. It's also called Unicorn Elixir, which is... Ooh, lordy! which is very aptly named and it comes in this really cool test be looking thing so just get some there and dab it straight on your cheeks this stuff absorbs so fast so you gotta hurry do the same thing layer it on top this one is slightly more glittery so i focus it near my under eye for that i'm going to rave look Chuck it on your brow bone, blend it into your eyeshadow, yeah, 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 yeah. After highlighter, we go into blush. This is Maybelline Master Flush Stick, which is again another cream product I like to use because it's so convenient. It's blush on a stick. <laughs> Bang down the apples, spread it up just under your highlighter. And blend like crazy. Blend it into the highlighter. Smack it on. Like an anime when you have those two cheek blush circles. Yeah. <laughs> blend, 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 blend. Give yourself a face massage while you're at it because self care, TLC. Once that's all blended in, it can go back into the eyes. I like to line my bottom waterline with a shiny liner like this one. This is a gold tinted shimmery liner. It's Revlon Colors Day Crystallized Eyeliner. I've been looking for an eyeliner for so long that it doesn't feel like I'm poking out my eyes because it's so hard but this liner is really soft. It goes on really easily. I'm just gonna stab this all over my bottom lash line. I'll do this instead of inner corner highlight, which doesn't really work on my eyes for some reason, and I can't get it to look right. So I settle for this. Yay! And having that just brightens your eye up a little bit, and it's fun. It's not as obvious when you do it with just eyeliner, but when I'm wearing glitter on the lower part of my eye, I find that it will reflect light. Let's say I'm looking at a lamp, I will get lens flares in my eyeballs. I don't know how it scientifically works, but the light somehow gets refracted into my eyeballs. Just another incentive to put more glitter on your face. That's good enough for lining. Now we go in with some mascara. The only mascara I swear by these days is Heroin Make Kiss Kiss Mascara Long and Curl and it's in the shade Black. This works really well if there is a small amount of product on this brush. Otherwise, everything just starts to clump together and look really wacky and just build and build and build until your lashes can touch your eyebrows and going on the bottom lash line as well 
Putting on mascara is like encouraging your small plants to grow. Go and be tall, reach for the stars. Insert motivational quote here from Tumblr in 2012. Sometimes the lash hairs will get so long that I just like to clip them slightly if any one of them is way too long and looks too aggressive. Just be really careful to not blink very aggressively as it's drying. Ah! Okay, stress! Just let that sit and dry. That is the eyes done. I'm just going to go in with some lips now. If I have one second to think about what I'm gonna put on my lips, it's this. It's by Misha. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it is their lip tint. It's in this tangerine color and it smells so nice. Like, I can't pinpoint what kind of sweet, but it smells like a candy store. The only reason I actually got this was for the Sally stickers because I love Sally. I really was not expecting this product to be this good. It goes on really smoothly and it stays on a long time as well. So 10 out of 10 for this. So just jab that on your lips. La 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 la. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, I'll actually use this as liquid blush as well. Dot it on my cheeks. And I think that's done. This is the finished look. This is probably just a starter base routine that I would do. Usually I like to add some variation in. Sometimes I'll go in with some glitter on the eyes. I'll go in with like a few more eyeshadow colors. I'll go in with maybe contour, whatever I'm feeling that day. But as a base routine, here it is. La, 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 la. This stays on my face pretty well throughout the day. I don't have to repowder or anything. My mascara doesn't really smudge, which is really great. My highlighter stays on, so I can do this routine and just get on with my day. I hope you enjoyed that. I really do want to film more makeup tutorials because I've been experimenting a lot with makeup and drawing on my face. I hope it was vaguely helpful. Let me know what your routine is down in the comments. I love watching people's makeup routines. It's really fascinating as a Virgo moon. <laughs> so yeah, have a good day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!